So, if you've never seen a fraction before, how do you introduce it in a very easy fashion? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years now. And fractions are almost a branch of math in and of themselves, in that fractions just seem a little bit intimidating, primarily because of the way it's set up. So, one thing when it comes to introducing folks to fractions is make sure that folks understand how whole numbers work. So make sure they have a really strong understanding as to how whole numbers are. This means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so forth. And then what fractions are is actually a comparison of one number over another. It is a ratio, if you will. Now, what you can do first is explain that any two numbers can be written as a fraction, whether it be 4 over 2, 3 over 7, 10 over 9, so on and so forth. But then when it comes to the basic levels of math, it might be helpful to use some money examples or some food examples. For example, take a dollar bill. We know dollar bills, five dollar bills, they're all considered whole numbers. But when it comes to introducing fractions with money for the first time, use coins and explain to them that each coin represents a certain fraction of a dollar bill. So for example, a quarter is one fourth of a dollar. A dime is 10 cents, so it's 10 out of 100. Now if you wanted to use food, for example, you can use a whole pie or a whole pizza and slice it into many different pieces and explain to them how fractions work that way. So if you slice a pie in half, you have one half and one half. Or if you slice a pie into four pieces, then each piece would be one fourth. Those would be some really good introductory levels to introduce fractions, especially for those numbers that are less than one. But as long as you pick the practical scenarios that they can relate to, you should be able to introduce folks to fractions very easily. So I'm Jimmy, and those are some tips as to how to introduce folks to fractions.